Improper use may result in personal injury and or equipment damage. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna show you something right now that is probably the coolest battery upgrade for your diesel truck Duramax that you didn't even know about because we didn't even know about it. I don't know, the whole, the whole concept just blew my mind. Sounds really cool, haven't actually experienced it yet, but we're gonna go through it and do it all in here and see how it goes. Basically what we're doing here, we got this stuff from XS Power Batteries and this is the battery. Now the real magic happens over here. This is not a battery. It's very light. It's, you know, in a battery case, but it's actually a really big capacitor or a series of capacitors in a case that makes them be able to go into a regular battery spot. It comes with a light bulb to charge it so you don't zap yourself, uh, which we're gonna have to figure out how to do here. It has instructions so you don't, you know, explode yourself. <laughs> and I trust these guys. We've been using excess power batteries for a really long time and they're the best freaking batteries I've ever experienced. Like the very first one I got is still kicking in the Escalade and it's been through a lot. So if they say it works, I trust them. We're gonna see how it does. What they have figured out is how the car audio guys would use capacitors to supplement their power systems with like hardcore sound systems. They made it so you can take the second battery in your truck and use it as a capacitor. So that when you start the truck, it all comes from the capacitor. It doesn't even come from the battery. This battery stays charged. You never even pull from it. And I think, I don't know, they said this, don't quote me on this, but this capacitor will, uh, could like crank the truck for four hours or something. I don't know, isn't that what he said? Yeah. Like it, it has a, battery life itself is it's not as substantial as a real battery but for what it does it doesn't need it because when you charge and discharge a conventional lead acid battery eventually it just can't take it anymore it, it, it dies well this capacitor it's full charge to discharge is like a million times or some something like that you basically have to start your truck and completely drain it 400,000 times for it to not work. I don't know, some something ridiculous like that. So this takes all the heavy load off of the actual battery to save the battery. And it has, I don't even know. I wish I wrote down the numbers that he said, but the actual cold cranking amps was in like the several thousands compared to a regular battery that has like, uh, Well, does any of this say that? Oh, maybe it does. Cool stickers, yeah. Very cool stickers. Yeah, fun fact, if you order stuff from our website, you get excess power battery stickers because they're awesome. Um, anyway, yeah, it says max amps, 10,000 amps. And I think he said the cranking is, it's not 10,000, but it's... Several. It's like three or 4,000. I recorded how long it takes to crank and cold start this truck this morning. Well, Morrisville, North Carolina, not that cold. I think it's like 35 right now. Let's do a quick... Uh, fire up so you can see how long it takes to crank with the old battery set up. I don't want the glow plug thing to go away. And we will compare that to how long it takes to crank and cold start this thing tomorrow morning in the same temperature just for fun. But now we have to put the side post terminal adapters on both of these and do this thingy with the light bulb to charge the capacitor. Improper use may result in personal injury and or equipment damage. Well, just don't mess it up. Ground negative, lead cap to terminal, touch positive lead to loose bulb wire. Bulb will illuminate, remain connected. Bulb will go out when positively charged. Ready to be connection and use. A little bit of a grammatical flub. Um, yeah, and then you just hook this up as a regular battery. So we will throw these on and then get to doing this thingy with the light bulb and see how it goes. Here comes the fun part where we charge the capacitor. I'm really interested to see if this thing cranks faster with this. Because Duramax is they kind of take it, it's like wow, 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 and then they go. But is it going to be like wow, wow, and then go or not? I don't know. Rate my um, sound effects. One to ten. One. 
cool. You do much better sound effects than that. I feel like you weren't even trying. I, I feel like if you wanted to, you could have done a lot better. I don't know how to imitate this thing starting. I feel like you have before. Now's not the time and place to try that. Maybe it is. Let me know. Do you want to hear more sound effects? Real questions here. <laughs> also, something I forgot to mention before is you could use capacitors in race cars because you could just, you know. They're really light. Like you could throw that at someone like easier than a football. Probably, yeah. well, not exactly because it's a giant block, but it's like literally like about the same. Yeah, no, this this feels like a dummy. Like a college football, like college size football. That's like same thing. This feels like a fake battery, like something they would take to a, a show. Like you can't, I don't know if that even tells you. There's a box might tell you how much it weighs. 11 pounds. Yeah. 11 pounds. This thing is like freaking 30, 40 pounds. Yeah, because we're trying to save weight here on Elvis, you know. Ground negative lead cap terminal. We're using jumpers for that. I already charged this battery, so. Every time I do anything with jumper cables, I feel like mad scientist. Like, zzz, I don't know, just weird stuff. Okay, touch positive lead to loose bulb wire. Bulb will illuminate. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. That is bright. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. That's extremely that bright for a little 194 light bulb. I can't even look at it. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, you're supposed to wait until it's it... steaming, baby. Well, is it supposed to be steaming? I don't know. It doesn't say to let go until it's done. It is definitely smoking. Yeah. My eyes hurt. I can't look at it. I'm looking at it. I'm watching it. Is it going to catch on fire? Oh, something else to note. These capacitor units are made in the United States. They do not make the lead acid batteries in the United States because you can't. Those have to come from overseas. They do from everywhere. But the capacitors are made in the United States. Anything they can make here, they do. <laughs> are you going to cut this out? But this is really funny to me. D3400. <laughs> it's got 12 M power cell. I don't wear. <laughs> on the side of it, it says it. It says on it. Yeah, 12 M power cell and D3400. <laughs> oh, what? 12 volt AGM power cell. Yeah, but it says. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, what is this thing going to turn off? It's been on forever. Is it, is it, does it turn off when the bulb stops or whenever it melts? Well, we have the instructions here, but we talked to them at PRI and explained exactly how to do this. He even had the little light bulb and everything there. But to me, it sounded like this would take about 10 seconds and it seemed really fast. But did you like charge the battery too much? Is that a thing? I shouldn't be. I mean, they used the charger I charge it with is an XS Power brand charger. So it's like the thing from Finding Nemo whenever they're at the bottom and there's like the anglerfish. Yeah. Everybody wants to eat it. Well, everybody, she's gotten bored and used the tripod. Just gonna leave me here. Like the little Dutch boy with his finger in the dam. I'm laying on the ground here with you. <laughs> I'm just tired of holding it. This clip is now 13 minutes long. Still there. We will report back when it stops or melts. So finally, what is it like? Almost an hour later, it's off. You gotta do the SpongeBob like the three hours later, yeah. even though it's not. Three like, hours later. I thought this was a pretty quick process. But it wasn't because I actually messaged a guy and he said it's about an hour. I'm like, oh, good. I sat there for maybe 10 minutes holding it myself, thinking it would turn off any time now. <laughs> and during that time, we did a little more work on the Escalade, but that's a separate video. You should go watch those if you haven't. Also, took the old batteries out, which aren't even old. We just bought those like two months ago. Yeah. So don't want to, like, they can go to something else. Yeah, it's always good to have. Um, extra batteries on standby. Those will probably be the ones that use, get used to uh, power up the Rolls. Which also, if you're new here, we have a 2004 Rolls Royce Phantom. It's a flood car. And we're building it into something kind of like the Escalade, but not. It's gonna be cooler. You beat me to it. Yeah. 
it's gonna be like it's cool take the coolness level of the escalate and think wow there's no way they could possibly top that and then we're gonna top that but um it's in the beginning phases so personally i think the escalade would be cooler because you can put bfgs on the escalade and you can't really do that with the rolls race so we may have to revisit that maybe, just saying maybe it's possible like that fastback with the bfgs on it i don't know the wheel openings on the rolls are pretty dang big i bet you could get some <laughs> i bet you could if you really wanted to should we put all-terrain tires on the rolls race and like do dirt <laughs> drags or something sled pole oh my god i think people would lose their mind absolutely would <laughs> and drop everything at the same time it didn't say which way to do this but i would imagine that the primary battery spot would go where the actual battery goes and you put the capacitor where the auxiliary battery goes on like a two battery diesel truck setup so that's what we're going to do first and i got to unwad all this this foam around here i don't know if anybody else has had this problem but the battery hold down tabs down there i had to bend those up because for whatever reason they were like all pulled out and flat no matter how i oriented the little clippy thing it just wouldn't hold the battery down didn't matter much when you had a heavy heavy actual battery in here but um this thing doesn't you know it only weighs 11 pounds so it would freaking bounce all over the place so i just had to bend those up to get them to actually hold the battery fix the problem so i just did it with my fingers that's what she said uh but not to you mm -hmm. olden joke if you watched really old videos bringing it back yeah so we'll see if this does anything. You ready? Oh, it didn't do anything. That must mean it is successfully charged. Cool. We need to show you something. We need to show everybody something. Air it up and put that fucker on now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a 265-75-16 truck tire. And it is like basically the same diameter as the freaking 24 giant wheel on here. This thing's big. This is a big freaking car. It would fit. Maybe not that exact, you know, we're not gonna put 16s on it, but we could have a setup that's like, you know, that would work for that. You gotta have the clean white letters on there even though the rest of the truck hasn't been washed in like 6,000 miles, which is impressive that it looks as good as it does. You gotta have clean white letters. Well, we got it hooked up. And once we get the tires clean, we are gonna see how fast it cranks. I uh, put some RTV over the exposed bolts on the side mount adapter things because I learned my lesson the hard way. Remember when I set that ECU down on Uncle Rob and it went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It blew holes in it. Yeah, yeah, go watch that if you want to see what not to do. <laughs> that was so funny. It's traumatizing. I, it was sitting there going, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I just flatted it and flung it like 20 feet. <laughs> okay, is it going to be fast? Oh, it didn't turn three times no, that or was, more. That was faster. Yeah. That was a lot faster. The real test will be whenever it sits all night. And it's really cold in the morning. That was way quicker than it normally is, even when it is warm. Yeah. Elvis is a champion. I'm impressed. Look at those! Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Elvis. Race car. Anything is a race car if you race it. Uh, let it run for a while to charge up. And then shut it off and turn it back on and just see how it would crank. And it, this is this is significant. Like I gotta show you this. I've never heard a Duramax do this ever. Are you ready? Yes. Whoa. Wow. Oh yeah. Well, let's do it again. Is that impressive or what? Very I, impressive. I've never seen that before. Well, it's not as cool as I thought it would be this morning, but we'll still see how it cranks up. Damn it. 
Let the glow plugs do their thing. If you learned something or found that interesting, do us a favor and send it to one of your friends that you think might be able to benefit from this. Now, Elvis doesn't have any, you know, hardcore audio equipment or accessories like a plow or, you know, anything like that on it yet. I mean, it's not going to get a plow, but you never know. It'd be like running a winch or something even, which we would be doing. Um, that's huge. You know, that can help people. Check it out. Help us out. Send it to a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the Escalade videos the Rolls-Royce moldy car gutting, all that stuff. If you're a long time viewer, we appreciate you. You know that. You've been here long enough to know that. You know that doesn't change. But if you're new, we hope that you become a long time viewer because we care about everybody here a lot. We're super active in the comments, so leave a comment. Um, were you impressed? Confused? What do you think? Have you heard about this before? Uh, because I'm pretty sure they do that in big rig stuff sometimes and things like that. So start a discussion in the comments. Talk to us. We want to talk to you. Three hours later.